Global Search and Celebrate Pathfinder can really aid in your investigation as it's going to help focus on locating data that appears across several cases. As a default, Pathfinder surfaces identifiers that appear in two or more cases when you enter Global Search. All of the cases in the identifiers, multi-cases, and more. As we go in, you're going to see the different cases that each identifier is associated with. So here we can see three cases and a total of five extractions. As we dive into the phone numbers, we are going to be able to identify the identifiers, the cases they came from, and investigate further. So here we can see that Bradley Jackson is listed as Bradley Jackson and Marsha. However, Beth Dutton has this exact same identifier listed as Darlene in that device. So this is where validation is key and makes a difference in your investigation. If we go back in to these searches, we can also do an active search. So here I'm gonna go into global search and I wanna search for identifiers. You can search for names, phone numbers, anything you want. So I'm going to search for Ruth. Here we can see the different identifiers for Ruth and the different aliases. When we see the same alias, we can assume that Ruth Langmore is Ruthless Girl and we have her name. However, as we dig a little deeper, we can see that Ruth Langmore is also named as Beth Dutton in CTF 2021, whereas in the case CTF 2020, Ruth Langmore 11 was Ruth Langmore. When you have cases like this, this opens up the entire scope of the investigation by helping investigators reveal the identity of an unidentified person, in this case, Ruth, who may be just an alias being used by someone else. If Ruth is really Beth, one of the main suspects in the investigation, it could really strengthen the investigation because now we have attribution and correct context. This is where validation matters. This is what makes your investigations even more fruitful when you're using a tool that will help you identify the scope.